Hi, it's Adrian. How are you today? And so we're getting uh, close to New Year's Eve, and I thought we needed some bling and some juicy looks to go ahead and uh, ring in the New Year with. And I don't think it matters if you're going out for New Year's Eve or if you're staying in and binging the old movies, which is one of my favorite ways to uh, ring in the New Year. But, you know, still putting on some blingy makeup kind of is sort of fun and it's definitely an excuse to go ahead and do that and so I thought I would go ahead and show you what I have on and do a lookbook with a couple of different uh, looks in it to give you some inspiration and give me some inspiration so um, let's go ahead and start with the first look and I did go ahead and use a true match this is the cool 2.5 and that's what I have on there. Um, I think I'm probably going to be doing a couple of the cooler looks first and then do the warmer looks at the end um, because I think I'm going to keep the same face makeup on it just, and just change the eyes out. So that's what we're kind of doing today. And um, let's see, as far as my concealer, I have the Incognito on. I did go ahead and use the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde as well. And then as far as the mascara today, um, I did go ahead and use the Essence, the 18 hour wear. And um, what I did for uh, the blush on this one was I went ahead and did the Unique by LYS. And so that's a deep berry color. And then I went ahead and used the Catrice Supreme Rose Beam to go ahead and uh, do the highlighter and um, as far as this first look this one's by the Christmas Eve palette by Odin's Eye and so it's a real fun palette um, it's been out they it came out a year ago at the holidays uh, it sold out and then they re-released it this year and that's when I got it and so um, I do have this on the crease this one on the outer corner this one on the outer corner as well um, then I did go ahead and put this on as an eyeliner on the top and uh, let's see where is it oh the the duochrome for this palette is actually on the crease as well and I did use a little bit of the Colourpop uh, cream gel eyeliner in dark blue here and this way that it came out so um, I think that's our first look and like I said I'm going to do some cool tone looks first and then go ahead and do some um, of the warmer looks and so I'll be back in just a moment for you with a different look. Okay so back with the second look and you have one of those palettes that is really pretty but you just don't quite know when to wear it because it's that intense well I have one of those palettes and so that's what I did the look with um, or the eye look with and um, let's see I forgot to mention last time that I was wearing the glowing lips by Colourpop um, during the intro and then uh, during this part I'm actually working or wearing the Oma by Sharon C it's a drugstore brand of Oma and um, this is one of the it's complicated lip glosses so that's um but other than that all the makeup all the base makeup is the same um i did change the eye look out as you can probably see and i do have one of those palettes um this is a scooby-doo creeps and crawls by glam light i think it's beautiful but it's a really dark palette and a lot of times um it doesn't get used because I'm not sure how to work with it and that's probably up to me I should, probably should be playing with it more um, but this is the palette it's really pretty really dark I mean even this light pink over here that I used is basically a cranberry so um, as far as this shade I used it from here to here and then here over to here so um, it's right under the brow as the brow highlight it's also on the inner corner and then what I did was I put this shimmer shade the turquoise uh, right in the middle of the lid and on the outer corner I put this it's a purple 
blue duochrome and it's really dark and so that's what I have on the outer corner um, let's see I did go ahead and use the ColourPop dark blue eyeliner pardon me and then I did uh, go ahead and use ColourPop this is the tassel super shock shade and it's basically white glitter and so I put that all over the whole look and um, the only thing that I think that I didn't do was go ahead and spray with the hard candy setting or glow setting spray let's see if that brings up the intensity or the glitter a little bit give it a second here and um, yeah this is it's a beautiful palette I, I should be working with it more because it has a whole bunch of colors or dark colors that I just don't necessarily work with that much but I think it's a beautiful palette I would definitely suggest picking it up and if you want something that's going to challenge you um, as far as makeup and creativity this might be one of those palettes it is for me um, so here's the way that the look came out and again I advocate going ahead and getting ready for New Year's Eve, whether you're going out or you're going ahead and binge watching old movies, old TV shows, YouTube, whatever, and um, just having some fun because it's definitely a night for putting on some makeup. So uh, this is second look and um, I'll be back with a third look in just a moment here. Okay, so Hi, back with another one of the looks for the uh, New Year's Eve. And so this time, um, stayed with the same makeup that I had before, but I did go ahead and use the Lavender Glowing Lips from ColourPop. And as far as the eye look, uh, NYX put out the Ultimate Flamingo Frost, and so that's what I'm using um, to go ahead and do this holiday look. And uh, this is as pink as I think I can get it. And um, it's actually sort of, uh, well, the Barbie movie came out and pink went everywhere. And so, of course, we have to have a pink uh, New Year's Day look. And so this, uh, again, is a NYX Ultimate Flamingo Frost. I went ahead and used uh, this on the inner corner, this light pink. Used it from here up to here. Went ahead and used this pretty gold uh, right under the brow as a brow bone highlight. This is a really deep burgundy sparkle, and I put it on the brow bone. Um, did go ahead and use this really pretty color right in the middle of the lid for a pop. And it's a pink duochrome. It's pink red, I think. And um, let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, I used a ColourPop gel eyeliner to go ahead and do the eyelining on this one and um, if some glitter is good then more glitter is even better so I did go ahead and use the ColourPop uh, tassel shade this is the white glitter and I went ahead and put that all over the entire lid and um, then I actually did go back in and uh, beef up some of the middle part and this part with a little bit more color but I think it turned out really pretty and uh, really kind of feminine. So here it is. That's the way that it looks like. And again, another pretty New Year's Eve option. And um, really fun palette from NYX. Hi, it's Adrienne back again. And um, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I'm back with some warmer tone glam looks for... Uh, New Year's Eve and so I thought I'd go ahead and tell you what I have on. I did go ahead and change my base. I have the House Labs. This one's in Faircool 50 on and then as far as what I did for my bronzer, uh, same bronzer I had on last time, the MAC and this is the Light Radiant Rosy Bronzer and that's what I have on there. And then the LYS, this is a Self Love Shimmer. Um, this was in their holiday pack for this year. 
and the a holiday pack is called Higher Standards, and it came with three of these blushes. So that's what I have on for blush. For highlighter, I went ahead and used Maryland by, um, let's see, which one is this? I think it's JD, JD Glow. Um, it'll be, yeah, I think that's it. And so that's what I went ahead and used for the highlighter for this look. And then this um, ended up going really green. And so this is the Flora Story Palette. It's by Odin's Eye. It's a collaboration by Amanda, um, or with Amanda. And she does makeup just for fun. And so this is a whole green look based on uh, this palette. So I started with this on the inner corner. Again, I went from the bottom of the corner up to the brow. This is a really pretty duochrome white to gold. And there may be some pink in there as well. And then I went ahead and used this green on the outer corner. This green um, in the crease. Uh, this, again, with another look. Um, do have all the same base makeup that I had on uh, for the last uh, warmer look. And so I did go ahead and change the eye look. And I put on all the glitter that I could possibly put on in this particular look. So um, this is a, well, Let's see, it's mainly this palette. This is the Wet n Wild Holiday Foxtrot. This is Sugar Plum Whiskers. And so mainly the look is coming from here. Um, I started off with this in the inner corner. And uh, then this is a beautiful shimmer that I went ahead and put on most of the lid. Um, I did go ahead and use green in the outer corner and then I used both of these glitters that are in here. This is one of them and this is the other one. And let's see, this one um, that sort of, yeah, it goes gold to red. When I look at it in person, it's looking red, but it's looking gold on the screen there. And I went ahead and put that on the green, uh, right on the brow bone. And then this one that is actually more of a gold with a shift toward green. And again, these are glitters. Um, I went ahead and put that on the inner corner there. So, um, yeah, the other one that I have is, let's see, Nutmeg Paws. This is more of an everyday palette, and actually, I don't think I used anything. I think I was planning to use a lighter green, but I didn't actually end up using it. So, um, yeah, these are two good ones that you can get over at Ulta if you'd like to go ahead and pick them up. They're the Holiday Wet n Wild palettes. There are actually three of them. There's another one that goes, pardon me, fuzzy, um, that goes um, mainly, it's more of a cranberry kind of look. And um, let's see, this way that the eye look came out. And like I said, um, I put as much glitter on there as I could. And um, I did clean it up, but uh, not using any glitter glue, I would just expect it to kind of fall down my face. And I think for, you know, kind of a party atmosphere, that isn't the worst thing to have happen. There are you know, situations where you don't want your glitter falling down, but um, yeah, if New Year's Eve, you should have your glitter all over your face. Maybe. At least that's my thought. So, um, yeah, either from dancing or from watching a classic movie and crying your eyes out. Either way, it's, you know, glitter is a good thing to have on your face during New Year's Eve. So I'll be right back with the next look. Hi, it's Adrian. So I'm back with the last of the lookbook for the um, New Year's Eve. And again, I suggest just to raise your spirits no matter what you're doing and do a makeup look, um, whether you're going out and dancing all night or going to an event or staying in and binging old movies. I just suggest getting dolled up and putting on as much glitter as possible because it always makes the night better. But again, that may be just me and I understand. Um, again, I have on all the same products from um, 
the last couple of uh, warm looks that I did and uh, this time went ahead and did a really glittery look and I did not think this palette would be able to do this kind of a look but it took it there and I didn't even have to really work at it which is kind of cool. This is the ColourPop 1111 palette and that's what I went ahead and did this look with and mostly it's going to be this shadow right here and I have it in the outer half um, going from here all the way to here and um, it is very definitely a glitter shade it's a bronzy glitter shade it's really pretty I have this one this gray on the inner corner I have this uh, gold um, it's going to be right above right in this area and then I did go ahead and use the white as well and I put that right under the brow as a brow highlight but I think I laid a little bit more over here and um, yeah so I filled up the entire lid all of these looks I have filled up the entire lid uh, this time I did go ahead and use a brown um, eyeliner and I think I used one of the Emrite eyeliners to go ahead and do this uh, again the lips are the wonder by Relove Revolution and the cheeks are going to be a combination of the LYS Self Love and the JD Glow um, highlighter as well. So, yeah, that's what that is. We could put a little bit more of this on. Make it really glowy. But anyway, these this is an all glitter look. And now it's glowing to the next galaxy kind of all glitter look. So, yeah, there we go. That'll take it up one or three or nine yep so uh, this way that the look turned out and the camera didn't even freak out and go ah, it's too much um, so that worked out well and I hope that you've enjoyed the lookbooks and the different uh, New Year's Eve looks uh, they've all been really glam and glittery and sparkly and that's kind of what New Year's is supposed to be right so I hope that you've enjoyed, uh, again, the lookbook, and I hope that you have a great 2024, and I'll see you later, and have a great New Year's Eve. Bye.